Good morning, everybody out there. And today is a rainy day on this November the 12th of 2019. And today I wanted to make a video on Re Revelation chapter 5. And I've been sitting here and just reading my word. I read a couple of Psalms and the Holy Spirit led me here. So here I go. I'm not the best with everything and uh, with explaining everything, but little by little, the more I read something, the more I understand it. And I may not be able to explain everything right now, but I, if there's anything you guys know, you know, when I read this or when you hear this video, just let me know because I'm also learning as I'm reading with you, okay? So we're going to read this in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Then I saw in the right hand of the one seated on the throne a scroll with writing on the inside and on the back sealed with seven seals. I also saw a mighty angel proclaiming in a loud voice, who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? So remember, the book of Revelation is written by the, well, from what we know, people have agreed that it's the Apostle John, the beloved one, who wrote the book of John also. And he's having this vision. This is supposed to be a vision that he had during his exilement. So that's why it seems a little bizarre what we're reading. So it says he saw an angel. And then, I mean, he saw somebody sitting on a throne with a scroll in his hand with seven seals. And then he heard this loud voice. It says it was an angel, a mighty angel proclaiming who is worthy to open this scroll that was in the hand of whoever. I'm assuming it's God, Jesus, sitting on the throne. It says, but no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or even look to or even to look in it. And I cried and cried because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or even to look in it. Then one of the elders said to me, stop crying. Hallelujah. One of the elders said to me, stop crying. Look, the lion from the tribe of Judah the root of David has been victorious so that he may open the scroll and its seven seals. Then I saw one like a slaughtered lamb standing between the throne and the four living creatures and among the elders. He had seven horns, seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent in all the earth. He came and took the scroll out of the right hand of the one seated on the throne. Okay, so I really, so what it says here, one of the elders, so the angels asking who's worthy, one of the elders says, stop crying. Look, it's the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David. If you read throughout the Holy Bible, you'll know that the root of David, they're referring to Jesus Christ. And here they're referring to him. He saw a slaughtered lamb, so it must have been like bloody. And he was between the throne and one of these creatures uh, and the four living creatures that it constantly repeats in the book of Revelation is supposed to be, I believe, the cherubim. And there's a, there are these creatures that have, like, on each side of their head, there's a different face. So there's a face of some sort of animal, an eagle, something here, a bear, a lion. A, I, I believe so. And it's like, they, they describe it like, like it's something you've never seen before. So it says that, the lamb, the slaughtered lamb, Jesus, was between the throne, whoever was sitting on the throne. So I'm assuming it was, you know, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So I'm assuming it was the Father on the throne. Jesus was there ready to open the seven seals. He came and took the scroll out of the right hand of the one seated on the throne. So he was worthy enough to take this, uh, this scroll now. And if you remember, it says here... Uh, he had seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent into all the earth. If you look in the book of Zechariah at the end, at one, I think it's chapter 11 or 12 of the book of Zechariah, and you're going to see him talk about the seven spirits that are going to encompass Zerubbabel or whatnot, and he's going to be, uh, let me see, he's going to have, he's going to be empowered by the spirit of the lord but they call it the seven spirits for some reason maybe it's seven gifts i'm not sure but it says here you'll see a link to the seven spirits 
that it's talking about here in uh, Revelation chapter 5 to it's going to be linked to the book of Zechariah which is a very prophetic book that you can you can see it correlates with the book of Revelation. Zechariah was a, a prophet uh, from the old covenant a little bit before 500 years before Jesus Christ came into the earth. He was considered a minor prophet but you'll see a lot of things, a lot of symbolisms that are very that relate to the book of Revelation. So it says here, it continues to say, When he took the scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders fell before the Lamb. Each one had a harp and gold bowls filled with incense, which are the prayers of the saints. So my brothers and sisters, they began to worship the slaughtered Lamb, who I have an understanding, it's Jesus Christ. This is all in a vision of John. And it says, and they sang a new song. You are worthy to take the scroll and open its seals. I'm assuming this is the song. Because you were slaughtered and you redeemed people for God by your blood. From every tribe and language and people and nation. So they're singing this song about the worthiness of Jesus because he redeemed us. By dying on that cross for us. By allowing people to do what they did to him when he was... A sinless man he was a holy man and yet we treated him the way that we did and so God exalted him when we all as a Christian we know Jesus is God but it's the way God decided pleased himself to make him himself <laughs> hallelujah praise the Lord you made a kingdom and priests to our God and they will reign on the earth you made a kingdom and priests to our God, and they will reign on the earth. Then I looked and heard the voice of many angels around the throne, and also of the living creatures and of the elders. Their number was countless, thousands plus thousands of thousands. They said with a loud voice, The lamb who was slaughtered is worthy to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. So they're all saying this, angels and the saints, there's thousands of them who are saying that Jesus is worthy to receive power and riches, wisdom, strength, and honor, glory, and blessing. I heard every creature in heaven, on earth, under the earth, on the sea, and everything in them say, blessing and honor and glory and dominion to the one seated on the throne and to the Lamb forever and ever. The four living creatures said, Amen, and the elders fell down and worshipped. Now it goes on to the first seal on the scroll. Then I saw the lamb open one of the seven seals, and I heard one of the four living creatures say with a voice like thunder, Come! Hallelujah! I looked, and there was a white horse. The horseman on it had a bow. A crown was given to him, and he went out as a victor to conquer. From me reading and studying and listening to different sermons, whether it has been at a church or reading the Bible myself, I know that there's two, at the end of the times, there's supposed to be two men, two references to uh, men on white horses who look like they're some sort of royalty. The one with the bow and the one with the crown who is coming on a white horse is not the real king. He's going to act, he's going to be treated as if he was like a great leader. And this can be maybe the form of the Antichrist. It says he goes conquering and conquering and conquering. and Or it could just mean something else. But from what I understand, a lot of people say that the, in the end of times, you know how there's always been some sort of weird, wicked power that has risen around the world in a form of government, whether it was Adolf Hitler, Stalin, uh, whatever type of, from whatever country, my brothers and sisters, well, they say in the end of times, it's going to be the same. It's just going to be this man's going to be completely possessed at one point or another uh, with a, not a good power. And he's going to, his, his real intentions are to conquer and to dominate humanity and to become like a living God. And he's going to fool and deceive many people because there's going to be uh, legit people standing up for him. And people are going to be like, look, even religious people are standing up for this leader. But they're not people who are filled with the Spirit of the Lord. They're going to deceive many because it says it in the word of the Lord. 
The next seal says, when he opened the second seal, I heard the second living creature say, come. Then another horse went out, a fiery red one, and its horseman was empowered to take peace from the earth so that people who would slaughter one another and a large sword was given to him. I'm not going to be able to finish all of the seals right now. I'm going to have to make another video, my brothers and sisters, and we'll continue on why these horses or these entities 